guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always having you here breaking news governor soludo strikes back as army destroy unknown gunmen camp and these have got nigerians talking a joint tax force made up of the nigerian army and navy on saturday raided a camp belonging to gunmen who have been terrorizing the uguta ulumba Aziz of anambra state politics nigeria gathered that the camp located in agulu zochuku in uguta local government area of the state was ransacked by the officers and several arrests were made several items were recovered including food items stolen vehicles and numerous charms the camp also housed a shrine which the criminals used to prepare charms and wear oaths of sincerity. Officers also set fire on a bulldozer that was used to block the entrance of the camp in order to shade it from attacks. This joint task force was formed as a result of the state government efforts to restore peace in the state and get rid of criminal elements who want to make the state unlivable. It is perceived that members of the group of unknown gunmen are behind the attack on Uguta local government headquarters, Newi South local government headquarters. Will Governor Soludo be able to sustain this? Starting what you cannot continue is more dangerous. <laughs> but no group is stronger than the government unless the citizen for whose interest the government is fighting is also with the terrorists. These guys are criminals recruited by the so-called whatever they are calling them after the jailbreak at Uweri. They should be eliminated. Remember, Igbos never regret. Soludo. Hmm. Proud of the military, put, but do we have to separate militants in Niger or in Nigeria? The one in the north, don't, don't you go after them too in the forest. I beg, bring them in southeast because they are operating in the north as if not a celebrating bandit. But not want ban bandits, I bet we don't want them in Igbo land. I pray they succeed here. If the northerners does not want to eliminate banditry, it is up to them. Excellent beginning, hope. Soludo will be able to continue and handle this. The handle the aftermath. The aftermath? Really, if you are thinking of the aftermath, why excellent beginning? Dangerous move. Why? Because you are not thinking right. Soludo, you can see things for yourself now. You better double up to rule Anambra. It's not easy. Oh. Arresting innocent people in the name of arresting unknown gunmen. Don't worry, the blood of these people are crying in the wilderness for vengeance. I tell Soludo, there, there are several means of engagement. This is not academics, nor financial matter. When one is dealing with mostly inanimate objects, human behavior is very complex and difficult you need the service of sociali socialists and psychologists not this okay with this you are doing this can get to nowhere get seasoned ones okay the social workers those you select are true you will know the means to use in handling the situation on ground as nobody wins people's zeal by using force as the more one kills the more stubborn the the victims becomes nobody uses win-win approach in any human endeavor especially in a state of unknown soludo retreat and use wisdom to rule these israelites my hands are not there okay Guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, so many persons are advising Soludo to take it easy. Okay? I don't know whether I should take it easy 
on the unknown gunmen who are terrorizing the southeast or what okay so i don't know the reason why some persons are asking him to take it easy on people who are causing havoc in the state according to them they said these are the unknown gunmen who has been disturbing the peace of the people the next thing you are going to hear now is ipop saludo strike ipop and esn back because whatever that happens in the southeast it becomes ipop member and esn don't also forget that ipop member have been crying about the situation in the southeast they also said that politicians in the southeast are the cause of the uh, insecurity in the southeast they threaten physically to deal with those who are enforcing every monday sit at home in the southeast and all that so these people have tried in every possible means to show that their hands are clean they are not behind the unknown gunmen now the question is who are these unknown gunmen we don't just want to hear that you know they dislodge their camps and all that we want to know those people who are doing this and their purpose and why they are doing it that is what nigerians are asking yeah even with the situation of the bandits too you know we will hear the nigerian army they have dislodged the bandit camp and all that and we will not hear how they arrested them and all that and all that so what we are saying here is not just by dislodging their camp and all that we want these guys to be arrested let's hear what you know what is their mission what what are they after in the southeast what are they actually looking for that is what nigerians are asking what are they after because some individuals have used this uh, agitation as an advantage you know to be committing crimes in the southeast you understand and this is really very very sympathetic because the southeast region who is the most peaceful you know region in nigeria has become something else you understand these people they are not known with violence and all that so what went wrong i'm dropping it here guys let's hear from you kindly share your thoughts